here's a theological question, and it will, I'm sure it will surprise modern Muslims. If you worship Allah because you want the joys of heaven, you want fruit and you want trees and you want rivers, does that impeach your sincerity? Are you worshipping Allah because you want the heaven or because you want Allah? So here is the quote. Because I know modern Muslims, they say, oh, no, you must be making it up. <laughs> you, know, you know, so here is the quote. الإخلاص من الابتداء الفعل إلى الانتهاء والمخلص هو الذي يأتي بالحص لحصنه والواجب لوجوبه ويأتي بالفعل لوجهه مخلصا لربه بل قالوا لا يجعل طلب الجنة مقصودا ولا النجاة عن النار مطلوبا so a true إخلاص would mean that you would seek the beauty of Allah for its beauty. Indeed, when they say waqalu, in this case he's referring to the Sufis, but in, in the other tafsir, the Sufis are referring to Sufis. But they even say that, in fact, that you don't even do so because you want Jannah or because you want to avoid hellfire. Because if you do so because what you want is Jannah, then your ikhlas, your sincerity is to Jannah, not to Allah. And if you do it because you fear hellfire, you fear hellfire, then your ikhlas is to yourself and avoiding being hurt. Not because you want Allah. So, Mukhlisin al sparked a long discussion about how about those who covet Jannah or who fear hell? Are they mukhlisin alahuddin? And for modern Muslims, you, I'm sure you were all raised that the reason you obey Allah is because you want Jannah and you avoid hellfire. But that's not ikhlas. That's either you're, you're egotistical, self-centered, or basically you want to save your own hide. But you could, that is مخلص لنفسك, مخلص لخيرك, مخلص لنفعك, مخلص, you know, in other words, you, you, are, you are loyal to what you want, the good that you want for yourself or the harm you want to avoid. 